This Sports Blitz podcast is brought to you by LMG. Grow your business through logo design, paper products, and video production. Visit leemarketing.net to learn more. Bama Blitz, brought to you by Bradbury Medical Center, offering durable medical equipment, including wheelchairs, oxygen, hospital beds, and more. 256-215-8654. Hey, everybody. Welcome into the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Blitz. Thanks for being with us on Sports Blitz Live. I want to thank everybody at Bradbury Medical Center. Mike Bradbury, big Alabama fan, super nice guy, and runs a great shop over there. Go check him out anytime. Uh, Bama Blitz, first of all, of course, Alabama's going to be playing Oklahoma. I know a lot of folks are a little disappointed in that, but look, look on the bright side. It's the fifth BCS Bowl in the last six years. Uh, I don't think any other team has been able to do that. Um, Alabama's got a lot of guys that are going to be drafted again this year. They have the number one recruiting class right now. Uh, the, look at Alabama's losses the last few years. They lost to Auburn, who's number two in the country this year on a last second play. Lost to Texas A&M last year uh, against the Heisman Trophy winner and when Alabama threw an interception on the four-yard line and then had a defensive offsides uh, to, to put the game away when Texas A&M was about to punt. The previous year, they lost to an LSU team in overtime, which had the best regular season of any team I've ever seen. So, again, I mean, we've had a pretty good record here the last five years. I think everybody just needs to soak this in, and it's really, really hard to three-peat. You don't see it. You never see it and you haven't seen it, and there's a reason for it. Everybody's gunning for you. So, look, let's take this bowl game and uh, enjoy it and hope that we can do to Oklahoma what we did to Michigan State in 2010. Speaking of that, of course, Oklahoma gets into the uh, Sugar Bowl. Alabama will be playing them in lieu of somebody like an Oregon. I would have personally preferred to see an Oregon or, or a Baylor, somebody like that, but Alabama-Oklahoma does have a lot of cachet. There's no doubt about that. Um, this Oklahoma team is not as powerful as the early 2000s Oklahoma teams. I think Alabama's going to have a pretty easy time with this one. Uh, that big game Bob Stoops is more like medium game Bob Stoops these days. That being said, I think they'll be, have a good crowd. I think New Orleans will be, be very happy with the turnout, and I think the matchup is sexy in the name of it at least. Um, Recruiting-wise, Alabama's waiting on a bunch of guys. Matt Elam, Nick Saban visited him the other day. Uh, Raquan McMillan will be announcing next Monday. That's a big time linebacker, five star kid out of Georgia. Keep your eye out on him. He was leaning to Ohio State for a long time, leaned to Clemson for a while. Auburn's in the mix a little bit. In the end, I think he's going to go to Alabama, and that would be huge. Of course, Marlon Humphrey will be at the Alabama Mississippi All Star game this weekend. Brett and I will be there to call that game. We'll be getting a lot of interviews. We'll see other Alabama commitments like Sean Dion Hamilton. He'll be there. We'll talk to some Auburn guys too and, and some other kids that maybe are going to different programs. I know uh, Hayden Moore will be going to uh, Cincinnati, the quarterback out of Clay Chalkville. We'll talk to all those guys. Basketball-wise, oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, this Anthony Grant thing, to me, in my opinion, is not going to work out. I, I hate saying it. Loved it when he came in. Alabama's four and four right now. Their four losses are to the best four teams they've played. And, you know, Alabama's played Duke, and they're very good. Alabama's played Drexel. They're probably a tournament team. Lost to Oklahoma after blowing a 16-point lead. I can live with that. Losing at South Florida. South Florida's not a great team. Uh, Alabama should not be losing to that team. Uh, not in year five of Anthony Grant. And I think it's a shame. I, I hate it. But in the end, I don't think it's going to work out. Now, having said that, if you do want to give Anthony Grant – one more shot, next year is the year to do it because Alabama's got a kid signed named Justin Coleman out of Winona. I've seen him up close and personal for the last two years. He is absolutely fabulous. He's got to be averaging 35, 40 points a game right now as a point guard for Winona. He is incredible. He'll be no doubt Anthony Grant's biggest recruit, in my opinion, uh, since he's been at Alabama and one of the biggest recruits Alabama's had in the last 20 years. I think he's absolutely fabulous and I think he's going to help Alabama a lot. The basketball team will have a lot of new faces next year. The kid, uh, Tanner, out of uh, Tulane that's transferred over. They'll have Michael Kessens, who transferred over from a smaller division school. Uh, they've got Riley Norris coming in. Got another kid named Mitchell out of Georgia that's going to be in this class. Alabama will be a lot more dynamic. Levi Randolph will be coming back, obviously. Jimmy Taylor will be coming back. They'll have some players. The question is, do we have a coach? And I think next year will tell the tale. I'm so worried that I've seen enough to know, but uh, hopefully, hopefully this thing, he can turn this thing around. 
That's going to do it for the Bradbury Medical Center Alabama Blitz. Thanks so much for being with us. Brett will be out here with me on the next segment.